You're cruising down the interstate when something catches your eye. There it is. A cat, perched at the edge of the shoulder or darting through the weeds like it has somewhere urgent to be. You've probably asked yourself at some point, what's a cat doing out here anyway? And more importantly, why does it choose to leave? This isn't just about curiosity or near misses. It might just change how you view the interaction between wildlife and human sprawl. Researchers have been quietly observing a strange trend, one they're calling a silent migration. Cats, both strays and feral, are gravitating toward highways. But what's even more surprising? They're also retreating from them, deliberately. Like some buried instinct is switching on when rubber meets road. You might be thinking, they're chasing prey, right? Mice, pigeons. Maybe they're aspiring to break land speed records? Not quite, because the numbers tell a very different story. Across the country, transportation agencies have noticed a curious pattern. Fewer feline casualties on select stretches of highway, even as nearby cat populations grow. That's not just luck. It hints at behavior, possibly even strategy. So what draws them there in the first place? The answer's straightforward, food. Roads are magnets for rodents. The smell of fast food leftovers, engine heat that lures rats, even other roadkill. To a cat, it's an irresistible, if dangerous, buffet. And like any predator, they weigh the risk. But here's where things take a sharp turn. Some cats, especially those in tight-knit feral groups, are actually learning from us. Watching human traffic patterns figuring out when to move, when to stay hidden. Some are even choosing safer zones like exit ramps over on-ramps. They're not just surviving, they're adapting. Let that sink in. Cats are adjusting their behavior to human transportation logic. They're timing crossings, picking perches, avoiding peak traffic like seasoned commuters. Still, the deeper question lingers. Why don't they stay? Why not claim the shoulder as part of their territory? This brings us to the real tug of war, animal instincts versus human environments. Felines have well-defined territorial habits. Once they assess and memorize an area, mark it, map it, they expand outward or pull back. But highways? They're sensory chaos. No fixed scent trails, no permanent landmarks, just an ever-shifting roar of motion and vibration. It's like trying to live in a house that rearranges itself every 10 minutes. And even the most adaptable hunters hit their limits. Now here's where the plot thickens. Ecologists tracking feline movements in parts of California discovered something unusual. Young cats, between one and two years old, were approaching highway zones, lingering just past the tree line, and then vanishing. But not forever, and not due to accidents or adoption. Thanks to GPS tracking, we now know Many of them circle back to suburban zones within days. They're not lost. They're rejecting. The highway as viable habitat. Think about that. They're testing their environment, weighing its survival value, and turning back. Highways, as it turns out, fail every metric. Too much heat. No shelter. No vertical terrain to escape predators or rest. For a cat, the inability to climb is a deal-breaker. Let's take a breath. You might be thinking, why does this matter to me? Great question. Because this isn't just a cat problem. It's a lens into how the natural world is adapting to our built environment. Cats navigating highways is a small thread in a much larger pattern. Our roads, cities, and noise are shaping how animals behave, evolve, and coexist with us. This is nature in real time. Learning, shifting, avoiding. And cats? They're just the beginning. But we'll save raccoons and freeway underpasses for another video. So, what's the takeaway?